or to the VAB. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this fist and shoving it into your eye. No, uh, going into the VAB, and we're opening eventually. Saturn V. They call it Saturn V Apollo 11, but it's really big. That's not even a joke. Saturn V was designed by Nazis. Yep. So we're going to change our mission flag to... to... Why not? Let's do it. The um, Royal Canadian Air Force. And let's get ready to launch. So, loading. So we're obvi we're going to be toggling our SCS and RCS immediately. RCS is on. SAS is on. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Yeet. Yeet. Let's go. So we're we're just basically going to be yeeting our Apollo capsule towards the moon, which makes sense because my save file name is called Yeeting Shit Into Space Underscore Exe. So yeah, it took a while for this beast to get going, because it's still the one of the largest rockets to date, and the most powerful rocket ever built so far. Uh, SpaceX's uh, Starship slash Super Heavy is going to be bigger and more powerful, as well as NASA's SLS. So we're going to wait until this gets to about uh, 150, meter, uh, 150 meters per second before we start turning. Well, pitching, I should say. We're already at one and a half kilometers up. Our three friends are... Well, that guy's enjoying it. That guy's like, what the fuck? And that guy's like, oh, I shit myself! <laughs> So we're past 110 meters per second. Two and a half kilometers up. And we still have a good bit of liquid fuel. I'm gonna start pitching over now. I'm gonna put our SAS back on. Right there. Four and a half, uh, almost five kilometers up, we're going to reduce our throttle to reduce structural load on the vehicle. The physics in this game aren't as good as the physics in real life, but, you know, it still, still functions for what it's supposed to be. I'm going to pitch over some more as we're starting to get low on our liquid fuel. As you can see right there. So once our liquid fuel supply runs out, we're going to uh, have staging. Alright, about 10 kilometers up. Yeah, the Saturn V is the most powerful rocket ever built so far. Partly based on the uh, design of the V2 rocket, which was a World War II weapon that the Germans used. Well, you don't remember that. We weren't alive. Yeah. Alright, burnout. Stage step. Lighting. I'm gonna throttle back up. 14, 15 kilometers up now. 
I'm gonna take a look at our map. As you can see, our apoapsis is starting to rise. Where's the mun? The mun's right there. Kind of looks like the Death Star right there with that crater. Go back to a map, you can see our apoapsis is rising and going along as we get higher and higher. You're ma I don't know why you're making me do a horror game after this. He's ma he's me he's making me do a horror game afterwards, and I'm probably gonna have a heart attack and die. So if there's no video on Wednesday, I'm dead, and it's Modern Game Show freaks show problem fault whatever. And um, yeah, you're a murderer. But if there is a video on Wednesday, it's all fine. You don't need to call the cops. So our apoapsis is still starting to rise. Good enough. I'm gonna pitch down a little bit further. Wanna have a good enough orbit around Kerbin before we just yeet ourselves towards the moon. As you can see, our apoapsis is rising quickly. At a uh, 43, now 44, almost 45 kilometers. Our friends Jebediah Kerman, Bill Kerman, and Bob Kerman, they're kind of enjoying the view, I'm guessing. Imagine, this should be something we do for fucking flat earthers. Put them in a rocket capsule and just yeet them into space. And they'll see that the Earth isn't flat directly before they die. So we're about burning out. Alright, burn out. Stage sep. Lighting. And you can see as you can see now with that with this uh, current stage engine, our apoaps is rising even better. If you're paying attention. So it's now almost a hundred kilometers. A hundred kilometers is space. One hundred kilometers. One hundred kilometers or sixty-two miles. It's it's the that's the uh, Carmen line. I'm gonna toggle our uh, SCS and we're gonna pitch down a little bit. Try to give us a good enough orbit around Kerbin. So the MUN is going this way. Yep. Because Moon apparently is copyrighted. So burn out. There's a reason why they call uh, difficult things rocket science. Because rocket science is hard. This is far from the easiest thing to do. Look at Kerman right behind us, right underneath us there. You can't hear the music, but there's music in the background. Because we're now in orbit. Just have to watch as our periapsis starts coming out. Our apoapsis is going towards the MUN. Oh yeah.
So our apoapsis is out there. So we're going to warp time a bit. And we're not going to hit Mun. We missed. We missed. So this is us. Mun is right there. So we're going this way. We're not hitting. Oops. <laughs> I didn't know there wasn't a, uh, a lem in this model. These guys are going to die. Well. Tracking station. My last video was, what, was like, called I Killed Them All. I'm going to once again become a murderer and going to... I like how it says terminate and not just murder. This will destroy the vessel, killing all the crew in it. Are you sure you want to continue? Terminate them! <laughs> I'm a murderer, guys! We'll see you guys, hopefully, on Wednesday. Peace and love.